Mats, or masks, are one of the oldest special effects in the history of film, dating all the way back to the Great Train Robbery in 1903. They are also commonly found in sci-fi movies like Star Trek. Mats can be used for all sorts of reasons, and they are relatively easy to make. All you have to do is find a shot with an object that would be easy to cut out and replace, then cut a hole in the video layer. To do this, you have to place a mask on your clip, invert it, in some cases such as this one, and then resize it to fit your desired shape. From here, you need to select a different clip, one you'll use to fill in the hole, and insert it below the original clip. You'll probably have to resize it using the transform tool, and adding feathering and roundness helps get rid of harsh lines. You may also need to rotate your clip to help make it look more convincing. This is one way to make a mat. Another way to create a mat is to mask a video layer and put it over top of another clip instead of cutting out a hole. To do this, find two clips you like and put the one you'll be masking on top. Drag and drop the mask of your choice onto the top layer. I chose an 8 point mask for this because it gives you more flexibility than a square mask does. Using the transform tool and the mask's resizing handles, reshape your clip to fit the desired area. Again, feathering is a very useful tool to help get the look you want. Altering the opacity helps a little of the bottom layer show through the top clip. In this case, I decided it would be effective. Now you know both ways to successfully create a mat.